Uh, it's Auto Racing One. We're here with Sage Karam in Iowa right after the first practice. Sage, you're back with the team. That was quite a surprise. Yeah, I mean, um, I was only signed up to do one race, um, but, you know, um, the sponsors and the team had such a good time as far as, um, you know, the sponsor, they had a good time at Toronto, enjoyed it a lot. Um, so they're they're real pumped up about IndyCar racing, which is great. And um, anytime you can bring new sponsors into IndyCar racing, I think that's that's amazing. Thank you, buddy. Um, and then uh, you know the team was just really happy with how I did on the weekend. You know I think uh, when you look at a normal result sheet, you see a P21, you don't really have much to cheer for. But given the circumstances and the progression throughout the whole weekend and the things we got knocked off the checklist and where we were at the end of the race, lap time wise compared to the leaders. Um, they were very, very pleased, and I think that's why we uh, got the call back. And um, I'm just happy. You know, I worked a long, long, long time, waited a long time to, to get back to more races after Indy, and um, you know, it's been a struggle. But you know, finally figuring some things out here and uh, having fun. Um, it's a great team, very professional, great sponsor I have, and Smart Stop, Self Storage. You know, they're all pumped up about it, and um, you know. I'm, teammates now with with uh, Connor you know we, we are good good buddies and you know Max as well Charlie's here you know helping us so a lot of good guys I'm around now you're no stranger to the podium here you've been on the podium in almost every series you've been in right yeah I won every road to Indy race here and then um so USF 2000 2010 2011 and 12 and Star Mazda won both those and then 2013 I won Indy Lights and then third in IndyCar so I've never been off the podium here um I want to keep the streak going, but I will say this will probably be the hardest one out of all those years, just because I've been out of it so long, and you know, um, you know, the team is still trying to develop their their oval package and get it to its its max potential. So, I'm trying my best to remember everything from the Ganassi car in 2015 here when I got on the podium. But you know, it's hard. It's hard to remember everything. I know what I need. Um, it's just trying to extract it all and and get it in the in, in the best way on the car you know there's so many things you can change that do so many different things so you know we're going to go back to the engineering office sit down think about it but uh just really pleased with the first session you know i mean i think we were p18 i don't think people expected we'd be p18 i think they you know they thought me and connor would probably be last and second to last and uh we weren't so um i think i was p18 i think connor was p20 so um the cars are pretty close on lap time um which is good you know, so um, that means we can go back to the drawing board, make some ideas. Um, but the car felt really consistent, wasn't doing anything crazy. So I'm learning a lot. I'm feeling good. Um, now, you know, going to go qualify. We didn't do any qualifying running. You know, we're just focusing on the race. So probably not going to qualify well, which is totally fine. Um, as long as we have a good race car on Saturday night, that's that's the main goal. OK, and the track's pretty hot today. It was like 110 track temp. How was it out there? Uh, yeah, good. I, I didn't feel like it was hot. Um, it's weird. It, you know, when you're sitting in pit lane and you're sitting there in the car, that's when you feel it's hot. But when you're driving, you don't feel hot. Um, just because I think you're just so focused on what's going on around you, you don't really have time to think that you're hot. So um, I felt fine. You know, I've had four years now of training every single day. You know, I've never stopped training. as I've always trained like I'm still racing. So when I do get an opportunity, I'm ready. Um, and uh, yeah, I try and train in like the most excruciating parts of the day as far as the heat's concerned. Like I'll go out and do my runs and, and everything outside when I know it's going to be the hottest part of the day for situations like this. And I, you know, I still wrestle quite a bit. So wrestling rooms are like, <laughs> I feel like 120 degrees. They're like saunas. So um, yeah, I mean, this doesn't feel too bad. It's definitely worse when you're just sitting out in the garage area or walking around than you are when you're driving for some reason. I just think it's more of like a focus thing. All right, well, you have a good weekend. Thank you.